before we go to questions, we asked one of the advocates if uh, they would mind coming up and speaking. <laughs> he thought about it for a long while. <laughs> said he'd get back to me and finally he said yes he'd be willing to speak out on the issue of marriage equality and that is Alan Van Capel. And as ably as everything he does. Governor, in 2007, uh, you attended Matthew and mine commitment ceremony, and I can't wait till later this year when you preside over our wedding. We have to address marriage equality bill. And I want to say, uh, on behalf of the advocates and our entire community, uh, thank you, Governor Patterson, for supporting the issues of our community and for supporting the issue of marriage equality before it was popular, before it was in fashion, before other states had done it. You were there first. And I believe, arguably, you are the most effective and powerful advocate on this issue we have in the nation, and we can never thank you enough. And as a lifelong New Yorker, I want to say how proud I feel that for the very first time, every single statewide official in the state of New York, from the governor to the controller to the attorney general to the leaders of both houses, to both United States Senators are in favor of marriage equality. That has never happened before in New York. And those things are happening by accident. I am proud to live in a city with a mayor who is committed, as we are, to making this reality in 2009. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And a speaker who made history. We were all proud of. And we're putting together uh, you know, spring season ended and we've now opened City Field and uh, I guess Yankee Stadium and uh, you know, as you put together a team to win marriage equality, I can't think of a better team than Senator Tom Duane and Assemblymember Danny O'Donnell. So we I also want to recognize two Pride Agenda uh, supporters that represent a larger group. Uh, of 2.3 million New Yorkers who are part of unions that have taken out and sponsored resolutions in favor of marriage equality. Randy Weingarten from the AFT and the UFT and Mike Fishman from 32 and CIU. It is a terrific day when the state AFL-CIO has joined with over 400 clergy across the state to support the issue of marriage equality, and that gives us hope with the five statewide officials that we can get this done. But I want to tell you also that on April 28th, the largest gathering of LGBT people will be in Albany, more than 2,000 people. We shut down registration for our Equality and Justice Day. will gather in Albany to tell their stories. And someone asked me coming here today, why do you want marriage equality? Well, last year, we released with the City Bar Association, along with the Empire State Pride Agenda, a book of 1,324 rights and responsibilities that come with a New York State marriage license. We counted them up, every single one of them, and it took a year. There are 1,324 reasons for us to be standing here today. There are 1,324 reasons for people to get on a bus on Albany 28th and go to Albany. There are 1,324 different stories people can tell about how they have been discriminated against, and there are going to be 1,324 stories uh, to celebrate, or, or reasons to celebrate, when this bill becomes law. And I just want to remind every single person who says this cannot happen in May or June, that if this community stopped fighting every time somebody told us something wasn't possible, then we would never have had a GMHC, a Callum Lord, a center, fought AIDS, or have any of the right 60 bills that have passed Albany so far. And unlike every other issue in Albany, this issue is different. It's not a bottle bill, it's not a tax bill, it's not a budget bill, it's a personal bill. And when a legislature ha legislator has to think about this issue, they have to know that they will go back to their families and say whether or not they voted against their niece or their nephew, their brother and their sister, and in some cases, even their parent. And that's why this is different. And not one bill has ever passed this state without Republican and Democratic votes. And we're proud of that. And this bill will be no different. And we can't wait to get to work with this governor. Thank you, Governor.